Okay, gentlemen, welcome back to another Manston On Air video. Uh, we're part of the Manston Air Group. Uh, you can find us over at manstonairgroup.com. It's a group of virtual airlines, Manston Air, based in Manston. We have Stratus Jet based in Europe. It's a low-cost subsidiary. We have bases all over Europe for them. Uh, Verona, it's a well-established entity based in uh, in Africa, uh, a number of bases across Africa, and now our newest venture, uh, of course, uh, a very nice airline called YAM, and that's a Middle East uh, 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 company, and it's going to be based uh, primarily out of the UAE where this video is being recorded from. Now, I've tried to make this video a number of times um, using OBS, but uh, I've had no luck. It turns into a slideshow every time, and I think it's got something to do with the refresh rate of my monitor, but um, I'm still hunting down how to finesse that. Nevertheless, so we're going to use uh, just a screen recording today, otherwise you would have had me on camera. Um, this video is primarily for Manson Air Group members. and I made a video just a couple of days ago talking about how you can improve their, or speed up the launch process of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And one of the ideas I came up with was to reduce the number of airports within the configuration of your GSX Pro. And you do this by going into your FSDT Universal Installer and going to Config and then only selecting the airfields that you actually need to use in your enabled list. So I suggested at first maybe you want to only have the airfield selected for any given flight. Um, the problem with this of course is that you're going to have to go into this universal installer and change this for every flight which is a bit of a headache. Um, then I suggested that you might want to have 100 maybe 200 airfields that you frequently visit and then I thought, well, that's going to take people a long time to work out, and uh, and it's just another pain or headache, if you like. Um, so then I thought, well, why don't I come up with some sort of a script or installer that makes it really easy for our members, Manston Air Group guys. So I've come up with these scripts that basically enable all the airfields that are part of the Manston Air Group root network that currently, as of today, on the uh, route file for Manston Air Group. So all uh, departure airfields, destination airfields, and uh, preferred alternates have uh, will be applied using this script and, and, and enabled. Now, crucially, if you do choose to use a script, what I will say is nothing will preclude you or stop you from using this FSDT universal installer to then uh, add or remove more airfields or less as you wish um, after using the script. So nothing changes that, but it does provide you with a really nice base starting point to just basically bring in all the airports that you might need for your Manston Air Group needs and then uh, add or remove as necessary from there. So to, to, to start with the process, let's have a look at the, the README and let's go through it together step by step. So um, the reason you may use this script is in case you want to run a slimmed down version of GSX to improve the loading time of Microsoft Flight Simulator. After configuring GSX and running the script, you will only have Manson Air Group airfields enabled. Note, it will not preclude you from using the FSDT Universal Installer to enable or disable any airfields at any time. You can remove airfields or add them later as you wish. So the install process goes as follows. So in order to ensure we start with a clean sheet, you first must go to your FSDT Universal Installer, find GSX, go to Config and disable all jetway configurations and airport service configurations and then click apply. So let's go ahead and do that. So to disable them all is the jetway configurations. You need to click these three chevrons. So we click that there. That's going to bring it all to the disabled list. The same for the airport services configuration, the three chevrons, and they're going to go all to the disabled list. Now we're going to click apply. This may take a few moments just to load and or, or unload if you like all the enabled airfields and bring them to the disabled side. Now, even though it's no longer loading in the bottom right here, it still says loading files, please wait. So that may take some time. And while that happens, we're gonna read ahead. So the next step was, you're gonna to need to edit the batch files that I'm providing you, these scripts. And to do that, I highly recommend using Notepad++. Um, the reason for this is that you're gonna to need to use a, a function called find and replace all. Now. Notepad itself does not have this function. So Notepad++ does, it's a really good tool. If you have 
your own preferred editor that does have a find and replace all feature, then please, by all means, use that if you feel more comfortable doing so. But otherwise, Notepad++ is completely free. And um, uh, I will leave a link in the description below about where you can find it on the web. So the first thing we need to do is find the location of your FSDT add-on manager installation. Now it's usually in the C program files x86 add-on manager, uh, but it may vary depending on the installed directory option. So when you install GSX or any FSDT add-on, it would have asked for the location of where you want to install it. And in most cases, by default, it's going to install itself in C program files x86 add-on manager. In my case, it installed itself or I chose to install it in the F drive, but in a very, very similar location, literally rather than C, it's in F. And I will show you right now. Here is the location, F program files x86 add-on manager. Now, the readme tells us to go ahead and copy this 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 uh, directory, which it will, copy the, the address location. So I've done that. And uh, then we can go into Notepad++ and edit both the Magway uh, Mag Jetway script and the Mag Airport Services script. So um, before we go ahead and do that, let's just have a quick look at FSDT Uninstaller. Um, now we can see that the enabled list is empty and the disabled list is full. So if I go and close that and then go into config again, just to reload it, and we'll prove that that has taken place. It's going to have a little think about where all the files are. Ooh, it's taking its time today. So while we wait for that, we'll go ahead and find the scripts that we need to edit. So here is the Jetway script. What we need to do is right click on that one, edit with Notepad++. It seems like a lot, it is a lot, but don't worry about that. And then we're going to right click on the Mag Airport Services script and edit that with Notepad++. Now we, I think that's done now. So as you can see, the enabled list is empty and the disabled list is full, just as we want it. So we can go ahead and close that. So I'm jumping around a bit, but I hope you're keeping up. So once we've uh, opened and e with edited with Notepad++, both the jetways and the airports, then we can highlight any part of the script that reads, insert your add-on manager path. Or you can copy it from this readme. Now, I recommend that you highlight, because if you copy it from the readme, you're going to lose the, the path location of the uh, of the add-on manager that you've just copied. So find anywhere within the script where it, it reads insert your add-on manager path. So we can do that uh, here, insert manager path. Now make sure you, you, you get both brackets in here as well. Okay, and then you want to uh, hit control F and it's gonna bring up the, re um, the find tab. You wanna go to the replace tab. So if I hit Control F, here's the Find tab. Now we need to go to Replace. Now, in the uh, in the Find What uh, uh, in the Find What window, we want that to be filled with Insert Your Add-on Manager Path, which is what it will be. And in the Replace With, we want that to be the location of your Add-on Manager. So. Here's the find what, the insert your manager path, exactly what we want, and replace with should be what you've copied. So then paste that in there, replace with, and this is the location of your add-on manager. Then following the readme, hit replace all in all open documents. And that's why we've opened both of those batch scripts at the same time. You can see there in the tabs up here that both the jetways and the airport services are open. So when we hit this, it's going to edit and replace all of the instances of insert your add-on manager path with the location that you want. So we're going to click this button here, replace all in all open documents. And then it's going to come up with a window saying, are you sure? Are you sure you want to replace all occurrences and all open documents? Yes, I am. So I'm going to click OK. And then instantly, as you see, it's replaced in opened files 1,708 occurrences in one go. So it's quite a lot. And then you can go ahead and close this. Now, I can tell you the readme then says you need to save both of these scripts. So Control S to save. We can close this one. Control S to save. We can close the other one. We can then go ahead and close this. And then the readme then says 
you can go ahead and run the scripts. So just double click on them to run them. They're very quick, as I'll show you now. So airport services script, done. Jetway script, done. Then the readme then will say, double check that they've worked correctly by going back to the FSDT universal installer, go to GSX config, and now see that your enabled list is populated again with the MAG airports, the Mountain Air Group airports. Now note that not all MAG airports exist in the GSX uh, database, hence why you might not see a specific airport, however most do. So basically the script calls for all Manston Air Group airports. Um, it's just that GSX does not have every airport in its database. So some of the airports may not actually appear. That's simply because they don't exist with GSX um, unless you've got them uh, as an add-on otherwise. So let's go to config now. And now the enabled list should be populated with as it is, all the Manston Air Group airfields. So now we're in a position, like I, when I started this air, air, air video, where you can still, if you wanted to disable, for example, Halifax, you can still disable Halifax. And if you want to, for example, add another airfield, I don't know, let's see, somewhere in the UK, e Echo Golf, uh, there's Heathrow. So we don't fly to Heathrow as part of the Manson Air Group. However, if you do want to have Heathrow in there, of course you can add it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, type in the full Echo Golf Lima Lima. Uh, we can add it in there now. And if I hit apply, it's going to apply those two files, both the jetways and the airport services for Heathrow. And now, if I now this list is populated with all MAG airfields plus Heathrow. So if I then go Echo Golf Lima Lima, it is now in the enabled list. So as you can see, it works perfectly. Um, the script has populated it with all MAG airports and you can still add airfields as you like. So um, that's it guys really. Thanks again for watching. Um, I hope this script uh, is uh, useful for you and uh, saves you a lot of time and effort. Um, guys, if you're not from part of Manson Air Group and you've watched this far, please go and head over and visit us at mountainairgroup.com. We've got plenty other tools like this for PMDG aircraft and other developers and even PFPX. And so it's, it's, we really do spend our time to develop and spend time to um, create processes that, uh, that help our members. Um, so please check us out and join. Uh, thanks again for watching. And we'll see you again very soon. Ta-da.